so I got the the little boy uh, who got a couple awards Hi. out of school and we are at Walmart gonna pick up some stuff and then him and I are gonna have lunch well Kenzie to you guys and we're gonna go to Applebee's and we're going to Applebee's you didn't know that? Yay. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, my systems are good we're gonna do that why you yes they're not going on you got to go fish in your mouth so not only I didn't um vlog first of all I think I vlogged that way yeah, for hold on babe for um answer stories but he got so he got the award I don't even remember what it was for but it's in here somewhere and a little bit later in the year but everything he's another one everything I ask him to do he does it with everything that he has he comes to me if he doesn't understand he'll ask me a question Miss Spiegelhauer how do you do this Miss Spiegelhauer how do I make this better so my extraordinary effort award goes to Lucas Sanford. So they, all the kids sat down and then they said we're going to call um, prestigious awards and then they had one for citizenship and then they had two kids from each class and these class sizes are huge y'all so um, Lucas got the citizenship award in and his class. Serenity did. Um, so you two did. That's awesome. Sorry, that's awesome. I'm so proud of you. Thanks. He's such a good, sweet boy. So I got him out early. The girls actually, well, they didn't sneak out. They actually just could they come and see him and they said, and yeah. And they're still at school. Yes. So they got to see him. Natalie wanted to go to the class because it was super duper long. Um, so she went back for specials and then Courtney stayed for the whole thing and then went back in the end. Um, I got to do the same thing next week for both of the girls. Courtney's is at 8 a.m. And then uh, Natalie's is at 2 p.m. So I have to go back. It literally lasts so for two. So I had to do specials. That's right. It lasts for like two, two and a half hours. So anyway, we're gonna go and get this day started story. before we have to pick up the other girls. And remember, it's a secret, right? Yes. Right. I'm so proud of you. Give me a kiss. I love you. Say bye. Bye. Kenzie says bye. Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Thursday. I'm. I think it's May 30th. I think that's it um, but it is the last day of my kids school and they actually get out at 1 35 I just dropped them off I am sitting in the parking lot because I have to get my nails done really really bad um, if I don't obviously if I don't get them done today with just Kinsley in the back then I'm gonna have to bring four kids to the nail salon I'm just not gonna do that um, I'm gonna have to filter the heck out of this because I look a raggedy mess it's the time of the month and my face is horrible um, but I'm outside of the no salon now they open in like 40 freaking minutes you guys but um i really want to get in and get it out i think kinsley may be asleep because she had a really like not good night last night so she might be asleep um which is good i mean i'll just put in her shoulder and that'll work out perfect but if she wakes up she, i took natalie's phone from her <laughs> um so i could have that and i got some snacks of her in case she wakes up um but yeah, so I need to get my nails in really bad. And then I need to go to the Dollar Tree. So last day of school, I need to go to the Dollar Tree and get them. I hope you guys can hear me. Okay, get them. Um, I need to back up a lot more. <laughs> I need to go to the Dollar Tree and get them. It would be so perfect if they were open now because she's asleep. And I know she's going to stay asleep for a while, but as soon as they open, she's going to wake up. That's my song. Anyways, I'm sorry. I'm all over the place. So I got to go to Dollar Tree and get them an end of the school year gift. Um, I usually don't do that because it's their job to go to school and do well in school. But you have to remember that they were in a whole other school in New York and didn't have the chance for here. Um, make all new friends. Understand all new curriculum. Take a test they've never taken in their life. The star test here. Um, and so I'm super proud of them. They all got on, all of them got A, B, honor roll, and then Natalie got A, B, honor roll, and honor roll, or high honor roll, one of the two. Um, they have awards a ceremony, um, but, and I'll show you guys that clip of them at the awards ceremony, which is yesterday. But, so they all got, I can't explain it. So they got awards ceremony, um, awards, and the teachers took the awards back. I'm not sure why, but they said they're going to mail, I don't know if that's a Texas thing, but they said they're going to mail all of their, like, um, um, perfect attendance, honor roll, AB honor roll, they're going to mail all those awards, even, like, the awards that the teachers made up, like, Lucas got the extraordinary, um, 
something other. They're going to mail all those awards home. I'm not sure why, but whatever. Um, and so I'm super proud of them for, for being able to... They didn't get perfect attendance at all. I don't think I'll ever want to even achieve that. Um, I'm too tired for that. But um, what was I saying? So I'm proud of them for what they accomplished, you know, moving mid-year and all that stuff. So usually we do Applebee's at the last day of school. Um, but we're going to save that because... We're gonna not because we're gonna save that for when Matt comes home. Now let's switch gears and talk about Matt for a second. Um, so I don't even know how I can say there's so what I can say. Okay, so we got a we we find out when the guys are coming home from higher ups and stuff. They send us emails, messages on Facebook, whatever, sending us you know syllabus and stuff of what's happening and keeping us up to date. So we got the thing you know, the thing saying when they were going to come home. And I was super excited um, because it said, it said two dates, actually. It said the bulk of the company is coming home this day. Um, I was, oh, like, so excited. Like, oh, my God, I'm so excited. It's happening so fast, you know. Um, and then they said that we're going to keep a small contingent of, of soldiers here to help help finish packing up and help making sure that the stuff gets back to, to Fort Hood. Um, so I'm like, okay, whatever. So everybody is like super excited. All of my, I have two friends whose husbands are with, are with Matt, who's also in Matt's unit, who's Matt's friends too. Um, so we're all excited that the guys are coming home on this specific date. Um, and then mind you, Matt was away at, so Matt was with his unit and then he left his unit to go, to go to the promotional school, um, which is in the same area, but not really. So he left his unit to go to promotional school. Um, and he graduated at the top of the class, comments list, all that stuff. And then he came back when he graduated, um, which was probably like the last day that they were done anyways. And he came back and that's when my husband found out that he is the person that's going to stay behind. So I was so, he told me and you guys, I was so devastated. Like I was so I, I mean, I can I stress myself out. Like, I was really just devastated. Um, now, it's only four days later. <laughs> but when you're in the military, two days later, after everybody's coming home, it's still a lot. So four days later for me, and if you're in the military, you absolutely get it. Four days later is, that's still a lot. And it's just like, seriously, like, so I have to see all of these other people get their husbands back on social media they, they were like, make homecoming signs, bring balloons, you know, this is going to be a big homecoming. I have to see all of this on social media, but my husband isn't coming home until um, four days later with about 40, 50 other guys. Um, so I was really heart, like, I was heartbroken, devastated, all that stuff. Matt's trying to, like, encourage me when I know that he's not okay either, but he's just like, you know, we have to trust in God and, you know, we're blessed. We have a home. We have a family. We're healthy. Um we don't want for anything. Um, he was like, God's going to see us through this. Me and God's going to see us through this. He was being extremely encouraging. And at the time I didn't really want to hear a lot of that. (laughs) Um, because I was just like, I think I I was with the kids and then he texted me that. And I think I turned my head the other way because I started crying already. And then I went to the bathroom, kept the lights off and just started crying and praying and crying and praying. And then I washed my face off, went out back with my kids, and the next day was family fun Saturday. So I was like, how am I thinking, how am I going to get through, you know, the sale? Like, I'm so sad, you know. And, the, and thankfully, the kids didn't know anything. Like, I didn't talk to them about when daddy's coming home, any of that stuff. Um, I don't know. And they never really ask. They never say, when is daddy coming home? When is he coming home? Um, so I don't know. But I was really devastated. And as the time went on. God absolutely brought us through. And it's just like, I don't know. I work my stuff up so much, but I know that he's going to see us through and, and it's going to be okay. And I just have to hang in there. And then I had to change my way of thinking and saying, okay, there's four, four more extra days that I get to make sure the house is completely how I want it in order when he comes home. Four more extra days until, four more extra days to get my freaking nails done and not look raggedy. Four more extra days to, um, stock up the fridge so that he doesn't have to go shopping at all when he comes home and we can just spend our time with him um so I had to kind of switch 
that way of thinking, even though it still kind of stings. Um, so it's okay. And now, now we're super close to him coming home. Um, so I'm super excited. Um, I'm going to, today's Thursday. Tomorrow is the, like their last day. They don't have school that day. Um, well, no, today is their last day. Tomorrow is the first day of summer break, I mean. And unfortunately, we're going to clean, continue cleaning. I got to clean out my car. I got to vacuum. The kids are going to clean the car out. I have to vacuum the car out. And then I have to just vacuum our house. And, um, so while I'm at Dollar Tree too, I'm going to look and see if they have cardboard paper or something. I'm going to make a homecoming sign just for the kids. Um, and so they're going to, I think Saturday they'll make their homecoming sign and I'm going to have a family meeting and tell them, cause usually you guys know, we love surprising the kids. We surprise them with everything. We surprise them with getting McDonald's. Y'all they'll be happy. But I'm going to tell them just because I want them to feel, I want them to feel what I feel. I want them to feel anxious to go to bed and excited about going to bed and nervous and, oh my God, today's the day. So I want them to feel those, those feelings that I feel too and that Matt feels. Um, so we're going to have a family meeting and Matt's going to be on Skype and we're going to tell them that, you know, um, when the day before it comes, we're going to say your dad's coming home tomorrow. Um, so I'm super excited now and ready for him to be home. <sighs> it's been a long journey y'all it's about a hundred what's gonna be it's gonna be a hundred all this week thankfully it doesn't really feel like that I mean I lived in South Carolina and so that was completely dry nasty disgusting heat but I can still feel like a breeze coming and stuff here in 100 degree heat so um yeah I'm super excited um what else was I gonna say I'm ready for them to open y'all um I forgot what I was going to say. I think that was it. I have to go to Dollar Tree and um, get their stuff. Oh, I'm going to make this, like, part one. Not No, I'm going to put all of these together. So this is just the beginning of Matt coming home vlog. So the whole entire video is going to show Matt coming home because I'm tired. Well, I'm not tired, but I'm not going to keep separating them and uploading stuff. So this entire thing is going to be of Matt coming home. So let me stop talking so I don't. it's not like a 40-minute vlog. Um, thank you guys so much for your support again and I will see you probably tomorrow or if not tomorrow Saturday I want you guys to see the family meeting that we have and be in that with us <clears throat> so you'll see that and probably home making signs thank you guys again and I'll see you later bye hi you guys welcome back to my channel it is Friday June 1st it's the first month of June and I'm super excited um so what was I going to say? Yesterday was the last day of school, and it was such a busy one. Again, I have to put you guys far because it looked a mess, even though I tried to put a little bit of stuff. Um, so yesterday was the last day of school. Super crazy day. Um, thankfully, it wasn't too emotional for the kids. Uh, really short vlog or talking video anyway, just to update you guys. So I have Kinsley in the back. The kids are finishing cleaning up, and then they're going to come out um, so I can talk for a few minutes. Um... So, what was I going to say? I already forgot. Um, so, yesterday, last day of school, like I said, today is Friday. It's the first uh, day of summer break. I slept really good, you guys. I woke up. I actually woke up early, but it still felt good to know that I could sleep in. Um, and I think that was all I wanted to say about that. I'm pretty sure. So, going on to Matt and homecoming. So, um, I don't even want to get too much into it. It was like... When we got the, the the letter about or the email about um, when the guys were going to come home, there was actually, I can say this now because it's not going to be a real time that you see this. So May 30th was when the main bulk of the guys were, and girls were coming home. Um, and then they said, and the rest of the people of the soldiers were going to come home, the first, second, and third. Matt was going to be the very last person to come home on the third. So he texted me late last night. I didn't get it until this morning. And he said, um, what did he say? He said, we may have good news we got done with what we got done you know we got done rather quickly than what we thought we were going to get done with um and so they're trying and he put trying in caps they're trying to get and why don't i have my sunglasses on ill sorry guys so he's that word they're trying to get done um or they're trying to have everybody out on tomorrow on saturday so there's a possibility that Matt could be coming home tomorrow, you guys. And I, 
I don't even know how to feel at this point because everybody came home yesterday or the day before yesterday and I had to see like all the pictures and stuff. So I don't know. I'm excited, but it's just like once he's on, once he is en route to coming here, I'll I'll know that it's like for sure, for sure he's coming. So um, he said that he won't find out for sure until seven o'clock his time. Yeah, seven o'clock his time, and then he'll let us know. So I'm gonna be like waiting impatiently to find out. Um, and in the meantime, I'm about to go. Courtney, my very sweet, but very forgetful person, daughter, left her report card at, at school. Um, even though I know that she did make AB honor roll for this very last semester, so I know she has good grades, I still am a visual person. I need to see with my own eyes the report card. So we're gonna go pick up her report card from school. And then I didn't do it yesterday, so we gotta go back to the dollar store and get um, some paper to make the homecoming sign for the kids. And I'm pretty sure that's it. I wanted to get Lucas' haircut for the very last time until they go back to school in August. Um, but I'm not sure. I may wait until Matt comes home. Um, and then we might, we're we going to go get lunch and then come home and finish cleaning and stuff. We already started a little bit. I kind of redecorated, you know, my living room and stuff around. Um, what was I going to say? The kids have no idea that it's coming home. Matt and I kind of fibbed a little tiny bit um, and said that it's, you know, a very long time from now because they pushed it back. We didn't lie about the pushing it because they did push it back, but we just fibbed a little bit. So the kids were kind of sad, um, but we are going to tell them which is why finding out when he's coming home is important because we are gonna Skype with Matt and have a family meeting um, and tell the kids that he's coming home tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. So like, I want it, I want them to know that he's coming home tomorrow. So whenever that is, if you find out today, if you find out he's not coming home until Sunday, then we'll tell him tomorrow. But I'm gonna vlog that for you guys and everything else. Um, I think that is it. The kids should be on the way out right now. So I will update you guys. I may let you see the sign. Yeah, we're not going to do the sign until we know for sure when he's coming home. So I'll probably um, vlog a little bit of them making their homecoming sign. It'll just be one sign. And then that is it, you guys. So thank you. And I hope you guys are enjoying this. I'm not even sure how it's going to all come together. But hopefully it's not too much. So I will see you guys too. Actually, if Matt, if, if tomorrow's the day that he comes home, I'll come back on and do a little excitement vlog for you guys. Um, if not, I will see you guys tomorrow on Saturday. Bye, guys. All right, you guys. So it's about like a little after eight. You probably can't see me, but that's probably a good thing. Um, Matt, I feel like I can't breathe. The kids are downstairs. Um, okay, so Matt texts me and he said that he's coming home tomorrow. I'm so excited, y'all. Um, so he's coming home tomorrow. They're gonna leave like 3 a.m. I am totally not sleeping tonight. Like, oh my gosh, you guys. And it's, it's funny because Matt and I both like, we act kind of shy when we see each other. We act kind of shy when we first see each other. And then like, after like a minute or two, we're both like, okay, you know, like back to being best friends and stuff. But um, I'm so freaking excited. Thankfully, I finished cleaning and did like all the laundry and hung all this stuff up. Um, I am so freaking excited, y'all. The kids don't know. So right now, Matt and I, um, they're eating like a before bedtime snack, even though they're not even going to bed yet. Um, it's still like pretty loud outside. But we're going to Skype Matt and have a family meeting and tell them. And um, I went to the Dollar Tree today and got, you guys know, I got the, um, it's under my bed, but I got the, um, like, poster thing to make the sign and I got some like crayons and markers and glitter and stuff so they're gonna do that tonight too before their baths and showers um so they're probably gonna go to bed tonight too but I'm so excited y'all um I don't know the time yet I know you know he's a little far away so I have to count that in but I'm so super excited um I'm gonna get off this and then probably gonna Skype Matt and just say we're gonna we usually have family meetings like once a month even if Matt's not here, just to kind of, you know, connect with each other and um, get on the same page with one another, like what we're doing with our life and stuff, even kids, yes. Um, so that won't be surprising when I call a family meeting. Um, <sighs> I'm so excited. Um, I got their homecoming outfits um, already. 
and I'm so excited. So let me get off this and let me get, you know, them ready and set up this so we can Skype Matt. We usually Skype him around um, bedtime too, so that won't be surprising, but I'm so excited. I'll talk to you guys in the next clip or whatever. She licked it. She licked it? Say hi. Hi, uh, You can't see because I have the flash on, but that's the... Um, YouTubes. No, no, dog. All right, so we are having a family meeting. <clears throat> I wish I could see my face, but I didn't really care. I didn't really care to set it up that well. Anyway, so um, mommy and daddy have something to tell you guys. And not sure if you're going to like the news, but the family meeting, so we're going to... Um, I'm actually gonna let daddy tell you guys, but let me hold it up more. Oops. Um, but again, I don't know if you guys are gonna like the news or not, but we just need to tell y'all, right? Okay, so I <clears throat> am going to let daddy tell you guys the news. So, whenever you're ready, guys, look at. Lucas, be careful, Kinsley. Lucas, you gotta be careful, babe. Oh, are you guys excited? Wait, what did you say about bad news or not? I know. I wanted to trick you guys, just like I tricked you guys about him not coming home for a long time. Remember? He's yeah. coming home tomorrow, you guys. You don't know what to do? Just be excited. We usually we got we keep surprises from you guys. Lucas, come back over here. Usually we no, keep surprises. No. Okay, Kinsley. No. Come back over here, you guys. No. No. Usually we keep surprises from you guys, but I wanted you guys to be able. I want you're gonna dance in a minute, Kinsley. I wanted you guys to be able to uh you know be excited about tomorrow and not sleep. Like I'm not gonna be able to sleep and all that stuff. I got your homecoming outfits. That poster that I went to the store to get, that was for the homecoming sign. I am so excited. Can we make it? So we're going to make it tonight before you guys get ready for bed. And we're going to... He's coming tomorrow. Not, I'm not sure what time, but he'll be here tomorrow. Are you guys Wait, excited? Are we driving him? No, we're going to pick him up. Uh, we'll see tomorrow. I am so excited. That's Natalie's really happy, Dan. I've been missing Dad since he was gone. I, I know. never want him to leave. I know. I missed you guys, too. I, I know. Stop. I know. Natalie yeah. randomly said the other day, I miss that. <laughs> it's so <laughs> random. Mom, Mom, look. All right, we're going to get ready to do the sign. So say goodbye to Daddy. Court Kenzie's taking all her shoes away. Bye, Dad. Bye, Dad. See you tomorrow. Oh, my see you God. tomorrow. Oh, my God. Okay. Bye. Love you. Bye. Bye. Welcome home. Sign is coming along. Thanks to Natalie and the rest of the guys are gonna help color and do all that stuff. And Kenzie's over here. I can't wait. Making a beautiful sign. You can't wait, Lucas. She's making a bad sign. Okay. Oh, that's not nice. That's yeah. some glitter. Oh she's making messy. But she's coming. Because when I was little, I used to do it. Alright, welcome back to my channel, you guys. Today is Saturday, June 2nd. Um, it's a little after 4, and we're on crunch time now. It was, like, super boring the entire morning. I think I took a nap. Um, and we've been waiting just to get ready to go and see Matt. He left around 6 a.m. his time, and they should be here, like, 6.30-ish, so... Um, a little after four, I still have to 
get dressed. The kids just got out of their showers and baths and they were lotioning up and getting dressed themselves. Kinsley is taking a nap, thank you Jesus, so I can get some stuff done or so I can get ready myself and then wake her up to get dressed. Um, I'm super tired, y'all. I didn't even, I think I woke up every two hours. Like, I remember waking up at one and I was like, oh my gosh, it's only one. Then I woke up at like, like 3.34. And I was like, oh my gosh. Then I woke up at 6 and I ended up staying up. Um, I am ready to go pick him up, y'all. I'm hungry. I didn't eat anything. I had a few snacks and I had some coffee. Um, because I'm just trying to, the kids ate, but I'm just trying to wait until, I guess, he comes so we can all eat together. Because he hasn't eaten anything either. He's been traveling here. Um, I wanted to go out, but... At around 11 o'clock, it was, sorry, at around 11 o'clock, it was already, like, freaking 97 degrees. And it's going to be 100 by the time we go and pick up Matt. So, I didn't want to keep the kids out in heat like that. Um, that's all, you guys. I'm tired. I'm ready for him to be home already. And I know he is, too. So, I think that's it. The next time I will see you guys, I'll probably do something in the car. Or I'll just see you guys once we um, are at the place where we have to pick him up. I think I want to leave it like 5.50 because his job, like where they're getting dropped off at is right on base as well. So I don't know. Um, probably leave it like 5.50 like I said. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But um, so I have to do the kids hair and I think that's it. Make them a little bit of snacks for while we're there and that's it. Um, so I will see you guys in the next clip and hopefully that is us waiting for Matt. Hi guys. All right guys, where are we going? Uh, to pick up daddy. Us. And, and to McDonald's. Yes, we're at McDonald's now because daddy just, well, there's another 45 minutes or hour before he gets off or gets there. Um, so I was absolutely starving. I was trying to wait, but couldn't wait. So we're at McDonald's right now and and we're going to go see. I'm going to eat. All right, guys. So we are here waiting. Um, the sun is super bright. I was just telling somebody. Back in New York, the later it gets, the cooler it gets. Here, the later it gets, the freaking hotter it gets. Like, I mean, stinking. I told my daughter I wouldn't say freaking anymore. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear me. So I think Matt and them are probably 10, 15 minutes away. Um, people are starting to show up now. People are going in, so I'm not sure. But we are, I don't know if you can see. We are um, at his job, and I think they're going to go in, like, the back parking lot. But we know we're going to just stay right here. We're going to get out, but we're going to stay in the front. And then Matt is going to come find us, as opposed to trying to find him through a crowd and um, with Kinsley and all that good stuff. So we're going to see the buses, like, pull up in here. And then we'll probably get out and matt's gonna come and find us i'm exhausted y'all it's 7 30 right now and i'm sure he's tired too y'all but um he should be here i told him to text me or call me once they get on base so i can get the kids all out hopefully i can get vlog i have my um my little thing here that i can like hook up somewhere it's usually how i take my pictures and stuff people always ask so take that me right this um, but I don't see anything to where I can like hook it up to. I'm not sure if I want to do that So I might just kind of freestyle and hold it for you guys. Obviously you won't really see um, Like everything like you see, you know me and the kids um, and Anyway, are you guys ready? Yes. Yeah. Ah! What, what, what? Lucas, let me see your shirt and relax So and cool like dad you are so cool. Uh, and Dad's gonna have a so cool like Lucas. Oh, he is. <laughs> They're not gonna be in uniform. They're gonna be in civvies, which are um like civ like their regular clothes because they didn't leave with um their uniform. So they'll be coming in regular clothes, and I cannot wait. I bet you do. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so they're on their way. Everybody just said. So we're gonna stand right here. I guess the buses are coming from that way. Freaking dog. Kids have the flags. Let me see your flags. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> 
Dad is at his bus number six or seven. <laughs> Alright you guys, he is here. I think he's the last bus. I'm trying to keep my eyes out on freaking dogs. I can't see you guys. I think the dogs are only here to come but back I'm sure today. They could have stayed home. But I'm sure he uh, sees us, so. Sweating. Me too. Me too. It's hot. And if you're hot, then, then do this. Matt told me to park here, you guys. Um, because we can get out easily and we're not going anywhere. It's okay though. Um, Matt said that he was the seventh bus, he was actually the third bus. So even before he came to see us, he dropped his stuff up by the car. And I, do I have a tan light? I don't know. But I'm so excited that he's here. I think we may get something to eat or we may actually order something because I don't want to stop, you guys. I want to go home and relax. Me too. So, um, and then we'll be home. Whew. You guys happy the daddy's back? Yeah. Kinsley, you guys, oh my gosh. She, did, I thought she was crying, but she was laughing so like weirdly. It was so cute. Courtney dropped her shoe, you guys. You know she loves her daddy. And Lucas, I think you saw him first, but you just pointed to him. <laughs> yeah, I, saw, I just looked at him. Oh, that's funny. Um, and I just stared at him, and I just wanted to Happy homecoming, everyone. Okay, so I will update you guys probably once Matt get in the car just for a little quick hi to you guys, and then we're going to... There he is. I see. I think oh, he's still wow. putting How stuff in the car. Good. Putting a whole bunch of stuff in the trunk. Dad! She's gonna have to hear so many stories, you guys. Oh, yeah. We, um, I don't want to get the uh, disease. Matt, say hi. Dad! Dad! Dad. 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 Okay, he'll talk when yeah. he gets in here. <laughs> Courtney Kinsley has been saying daddy non stop since he's come home. Are you happy to be home? Mm -hmm. We are too. You know why I got two <clears throat> much homes? And of course these Dad, clothes. Dad, you know I feel like she just wore her eyes. Dad, Come here, Kinsley. Dad, Dad. Watch. Hold on, Lucas. Come here, Kinsley. Oh, you want me? Seriously? Hey, I want to be in this condition. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh, hi, Luke. Don't forget me. Daddy, Daddy. Oh, she's mad at Lucas. <laughs> no, Kinsley. Look. Oh, she's trying to push him. <laughs> Lucas, be nice. Daddy. Yes. She She's Dad. a tattle tale, you guys. She will tell Dad. anything. Dad, guess what? Dad, guess what? Did this is coming. Look funny. at this, you guys. She's trying to push Dad. Lucas's arm Dad. off of me. This is what Dad. he's going to have to deal with. Dad, guess what? What? Did you know that? The Wagwans, when they keep on opening the tons from their minutes, then uh -huh. they can look back in the sense and hate the sense because they open the tons and then... All right, we're going to end the vlog. We're going to spend more time with, in that order pizza, so we're going to have pizza and stuff. Pizza. Yeah, and pizza, uh, pizza. get the kids ready for bed. Lucas is excited. Because it's all itchy. And, and we're gonna have Say goodnight, you guys. Goodnight, you guys. Where's Natalie? And we're going to watch Jurassic Park. Not tonight. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.